Um, all right, so here we go. We're going to school today. Uh, we're gonna dethatch two different directions uh, with my Allet dethatcher. This is the first time that I've used my dethatching cartridge on my on this Allet. Uh, I used my mini dethatcher on my Sterling, my little homo, home uh, mower when I did my, my yard overseed and really liked it. Uh, I'm not sure it's gonna go the same today, but we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna get a little bit of footage of that. And then I've got my rotary mower in the back uh, today. I'm bringing my big stadium rotary mower. We're gonna use that as a vacuum today to kind of clean up some gunk as well. And then we're gonna blow out some edges again. Uh, the I have a wedding tomorrow that I'm hosting at my house. Uh, so, so I'm not sure how much work I'm gonna be able to get done tomorrow morning. So I'm trying to get most of my prep work finished today and then the seat is actually going to go down on Thursday morning um, so that's kind of where we're at um, if you have any questions uh, please leave them in the comment section or shoot me an email personally I know a lot of people have reached out to me personally I'm happy to reply to your emails and I will reply to your emails October best time of the year we're gonna germinate some perennial rye uh, we've got some football on the TV. The Dodgers are getting their ass beat in the playoffs right now. They're down 0-2 after losing to the Diamondbacks last night. Uh, but normally baseball playoffs, best time of the year. Uh, hoping we can just get a win tomorrow and stay alive. And who knows, well, maybe some magic can happen. I haven't given up yet, but um, uh, my favorite time of the year. It's of an inch here um on this and uh, again we put some regulators in there to, to suppress the growth uh, we're going to dethatch this in here good this morning uh, two directions and i get this prepped for some seed Quick video update, uh, and I gotta head back to class. Um, I dethatched two directions, um, and you can kind of get a good idea how much material I pulled up. Uh, I thought this went really well. And then I got my rotary mower here um, that uh, I'm trying to use to kind of suck up the gunk here. Um, I'm about half, not quite halfway done with that, um, but I've gotta go to class um, and take a break. But this is kind of where we're at right here. Um, it's been a good productive day. I like where we're at here. Uh, this dethatcher really knocked down these edges really good for me. And uh, we're gonna clean up this field. Uh, day two here, uh, yesterday I got everything done that I needed to get done. I dethatched uh, two directions, went really, really well. Uh, got a ton of gunk out of here to blow out the edges with the hose. Um, and get a bunch of gunk kind of out of those edges and stuff and get that really cleaned up. So uh, I'm out here. It's before school super early um, And uh, I'm gonna do one last scalp uh, Down real low because again when you uh, Dethatch and you, you start chopping it kind of stands some stuff up uh, And again with my rotary rotary mower. I wasn't cutting anything. I was just picking stuff up. So uh, we're gonna do one scalp uh, Today just to kind of get it down to one last uh, lower level and then uh, we're gonna be ready for some seed. We're gonna put down some seed. All right, uh, she's ready for some grass seed. Just scalped off another five bags of uh, material off of this thing. Just giving you a look at this thing, how tight it is. Man. Ready to go, we're gonna start dropping some seed. All right, Stellar 4GL Perennial Ryegrass. This is from Mountain View Seeds, the best seed company in the world. Uh, I'm gonna use one and a half of these bags on my infield here. Uh, these are 50 pound bags. Uh, my infield is roughly 7,500 square feet. 
Uh, I'm going to do uh, at a rate of 10 pounds per thousand, which is a little bit heavy, but I don't care. Usually you go 8 to 10, uh, which the math on that is 75 pounds of seed, which is uh, one and a half of these bags. So we're all set, ready to go. We're going to be using my drop spreader over here, um, which is brand new. Testing uh, this, this is out. A spiker spreader here. Really excited about this. So here we go. I'm going to use uh, the exact same method that I've shown on other videos where I'm going to start with the drop spreader in the corner. I'm going to set a irrigation flag at the uh, corner where it, where it st starts dropping. I'm going to go all the way down on a straight line and then I'm going to do a reverse pivot and then I'm going to set an irrigation flag down there and I'm going to go right towards this uh, irrigation flag just so that I can make sure that I'm going in a straight line. And we are going to go two directions. All right, guys, I was going to make you a nice time lapse of me putting seed down, but it's the wind is howling out here, um, and it's going to just take my tripod and knock it over. I know that from a previous uh, situation. So um, I'm not going to probably be able to get a lot of footage of me putting the seed down, and the drone's probably not going to be very good in the wind either. But uh, it's a good thing I'm using the drop spreader. I wouldn't be able to use a broadcast spreader out here because it's so dang windy. I don't know if you can hear that wind. Uh, but I'm using the drop spreader, which should be plenty fun. So here we go. Make it work, but I went straight down this line here. I did a little reverse pivot here. And then what I did is I set this irrigation flag down on this end. And so what I'll do is I'll try to line that up uh, with a, you can't see it probably, but there's a blue flag down there. Okay, so back in 2022, uh, I used topper with my roller and uh, applied it that way. It's the most manual labor, uh, but I also think it was the best evenly spread coverage that I had. I also really like the topper. Uh, I use that for my yard every year. It's a great way to do it, but it's also a little uh, time extensive and uh, can be expensive as well. In 2021, I bought bulk and just had the kids help me spread it with wheelbarrows and shovels uh, and rakes. It took us about an hour. Uh, that was a good way as well. And then this year I had the luxury of having an outside company come in and they were able to just kind of drop it for me with a tractor. Uh, it was uh, probably not the best quality of stuff, but it was also the easiest on me and, and, and was pretty cheap. Uh, so if you have that luxury, you can go that way. But I've done something a little bit different each year. All right, guys. Water's running, obviously that's the last step, is to keep this seed uh, nice and moist. Uh, we're gonna run these sprinklers several times a day um, for short amount of times. I don't want this to puddle up, uh, but I want it to stay moist. I have one issue at the moment of, uh, it's really windy, not really windy, but there is a light breeze. It's not as bad as it was yesterday, so I'm just kind of making sure everything's getting hit here with the sprinklers without getting wet myself. And uh, the wind's blowing in my face towards left field right here. So uh, obviously I'm not concerned about this side of the infield, but I'm gonna go make sure over on the other side that, that we're dialed in. But this is what it looks like now, and I may have to adjust that sprinkler uh, a little bit. And I forgot my sprinkler tool uh, in, the, uh, in the office. So let's check and see if this one goes around the other thing that i'm a little bit concerned about i had from last year is right on uh, this side of the right outside the the mound uh it puddles up a little bit and so we had some washout uh so i've kind of got that mound tarp off a little bit kind of hoping maybe some of the the water absorbs into the mound instead of uh running right off my mound tarp and creating a a waterfall and a big freaking sloppy mess um, and yeah this one's not quite hitting so i gotta go get my sprinkler tool and we're gonna make sure that we adjust this sprinkler head here uh, so that it will touch, uh, it will hit everything uh, there. So it's a beautiful day. It's, uh, what, how warm is it? Uh, I can't tell. Uh, it's probably close to 80 degrees or today, maybe 82, 82 degrees, obviously not a cloud in the sky, beautiful day in Southern California. We should have this grass seed germinated. What's today? Today's Thursday. 
uh, October 13th, no, nope, October 12th. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't have germination by Tuesday or Wednesday yeah. next week. Just some light. It's a little close up right there. Really happy with this. I think this is gonna, I just am really optimistic this year. I think this is gonna be my best overseed ever. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, we're at the 12 day mark here uh, since putting down the seed and getting the water going on this uh, baseball field here. And I just wanted to give you guys an update here. Uh, I'm gonna put the first mow on it here uh, today on the uh, infield. And then also, we got crushed to... last week uh, with an unexpected heat wave. Uh, so really the first week there trying to germinate seed, I was in the high 90s uh, temperature wise, which is obviously is not ideal uh, for trying to germinate seed. Uh, it's much cooler this week. Uh, it's in the high 70s, I think, probably right uh, this week, mid to high 70s most of this week. And uh, you probably see some mushrooms out here on the field. And uh, just kind of taking you guys around and I'll show you guys the field. Uh, it's filled in really nice. I'm gonna put the first mow on it here today. Uh, I took my mound tarp off because I didn't want this to create a slide and crush these areas, which you can see are really, really thin. We've kind of got some grass germinating. I'm going to avoid those areas with the mower today. Uh, but they're starting to kind of fill in as I've figured out the uh, water situation. And um, as uh, it's kind of been able to dry out a little bit, it's been tough to deal with. We get it a little bit over here uh, as well on this spot here. Uh, but it's starting to kind of fill in a little bit. Uh, it's actually much better than it was last year. So I'm kind of happy with that uh, there. But you can see the infield here on the 12-day mark. One other area that I've kind of redone a little bit here is right up front here. Uh, this kind of got crushed a little bit as well. Uh, I put some more seed down on Friday and kind of topped it with some sand to keep that in place. Uh, but let's put the first mow on this thing. Just checking here to make sure I'm actually mowing. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of clippings. That's perfect. I don't want to mow this too low. Uh, I want to have this on a, a fairly decent high setting here uh, so that I'm just clipping the top the first time I'm mowing. I don't want to really dig in too much. I don't know how well you can tell there, uh, but we're just barely shaving a little bit off this thing for the first mow, which is perfect. And we'll continue to go. <laughs> smokes man that is nice I am really happy with that again this is the 12th day here stellar 4GL perennial ryegrass yeah there's still some spots that are a little bit thin and need to fill in and they will but the whole idea is get that first mow on there as quick as possible and then try to mow as often as possible after that so uh, really happy with where we're at here. We got one spot right in here. I got to check this out I don't know maybe the sprinklers aren't hitting us or what's going on and I, now that I feel this this is kind of dry So I bet you I've got a spot where I didn't even notice the sprinklers might not be hitting I'm gonna have to check that out I might have to do a little spot seed and cover that up and try to get that to fill in a little bit um, Just kind of walking the field with you here. I Avoided these areas right in here that are super super thin and you can already see grass seeds sprout in there So I'm gonna be fine uh, I just need to be patient. Same thing all the way kind of around the mound. This has always kind of been a little bit of a troubled area. I'll get in here and, and uh, this the mower didn't pick up these mushrooms as, as well as I'd like. So I'll come back with a leaf break and kind of pick those up. But man, that looks really nice uh, for 12 days post seed. Mountain View Seeds, Stellar 4GL, Perennial Rye. Love it. Go check those guys out. One thing that I kind of like to do after first mow is if I've got some kind of bare spots that didn't really fill in, I'll kind of beat them up a little bit here with this little tool. I really like this thing. And then I'll kind of just sprinkle a little bit of seed on here. Um, sprinkle just a little bit of light rate of seed on there. I'm not going to recover that up or anything. Um, I'll just kind of try to get that meshed in with the dirt and hope that 
you know, it kind of fills in a little bit. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick update here. We got day 15, it's Friday. We put this grass seed down two weeks ago, uh, Thursday. And uh, this is what it looks like. Um, it's unreal. I just got the second mow on it with the rotary mower. Um, I put the first mow on it on Wednesday, Tuesday, excuse me. I put it down, first mow on it on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I sprayed um, some phosphorus, some starter fertilizer, and uh, just a light dose of micronutrients as well, um, just because I had it here. Uh, but look at this. This is two weeks. This is by far the best overseed that I think I've ever had uh, for the baseball infield so far. Um, even these spots here around the mound, uh, they're not fully established, but they're, they're sprouting and they're starting to germinate after that's kind of dried out. Same thing over on this side. Um, we got some, a couple, only a couple really small minor spots that, that kind of need to fill in, um, and they will. But man, day 15, seriously, I like just had the dethatch um, and had this scalp down to 3 eighths of an inch, basically bare dirt. So just look uh, at how spray. thick uh, this is here um, at day 15 on this overseed. Um, I'm going to put the first real mow on it with the real mower uh, on Monday. Uh, I'm going to put a heavy dose of water. I'm going to start really dosing, uh, cutting back on my water. I'm going to put a heavy dose on it today, not water it over the weekend, just so we can kind of uh, try to establish some root development and encourage those roots to start kind of digging down and uh, searching for water a little bit after uh, it gets this heavy dose. Uh, we'll put, like I mentioned, we'll put the real mower on it on Monday. Probably, probably have it nice and striped. Uh, hey guys, what's up? It's November 1st. We're on the 20 day mark here. Uh, since we put seed down on the field, we're going to use the real mower for the first time today. I planned on using it on Monday. Uh, today's Wednesday. I planned on using it Monday, but I took my, my real home over the weekend to, to back lap it and forgot to bring it. And then yesterday was Halloween, so I was really busy. So uh, we're going to put this on here. I'm going to cut it an inch and a quarter today with the real mower. And uh, we'll see this thing stripe up real nice. I'll get some footage of it, and then uh, we'll kind of wrap this up uh, kind of at the three-week mark. <laughs> days uh from the day that we put down the uh grass seed and topped uh perennial rye it's the way to go um probably our best over uh, best overseed that i've ever had uh, it's come in really nice uh, we also battled through a heat wave uh worth noting the last few days especially uh monday and tuesday uh today's wednesday uh, we had really, really high uh, winds, uh, like we actually weren't even able to be in uh, outside uh, for PE because it was just blowing so heavy. Super dry, uh, dried this out a lot. We weren't even really able to run sprinklers because I'd be pretty much water in left field if I put my infield sprinklers on. Uh, but really, really happy with where this is at. Uh, please, uh, guys, if this video helped you out at all, or, or uh, if you liked it, if you could leave me a like uh, or subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. The more subscribers, the more love that I get on here, the more videos that I'll do. Uh, I don't want to waste my time if people don't like my content. Uh, and also, just uh, hit me up anytime, guys. Leave me any questions or comments that you have in the comment section. Shoot me an email. Happy to help you guys out. I help a lot of people out. Uh, just love chatting uh, this stuff. And so just hit me up anytime, guys. Uh, thank you. Really appreciate it. Another year down and hopefully uh, it's going to be the best year uh, all, all overall together. Have a great day.